Hi friends, in this video we are discussing about building a Odo theme. Odo's themes are packed like modules. Even if you are designing a very simple website for your company or client, you need to package the themes like an Odo module. Uh, let's go to the module. We can uh, see that the folder named theme underscore auto it's an auto theme I created we can open the theme underscore auto folder in this theme underscore auto module you can see some subdirectories and some files these things have different purposes each directories contains different elements that contains the auto theme we can look at the main folder this is the main folder create a folder and name it like this provide the folder name theme underscore followed by the themes name We can see the manifest file. This will the manifest file contains the configuration of your theme. You can provide the theme name and the version and the category and the order and the depends modules and the data. Next, we can see that the init file. The init file is a mandatory file system. Create and leave it as blank. This is the views and static folders. Create, a, create the views and static folder inside our main folder in views you will place your XML files that defines your snippets your pages and your options and the static folder is the right place to put your style images and custom JS Inside the CSS folder, you can provide the style files for your theme. We can go to the CSS folder, CSS file. In the CSS class selector, is named that start with a full stop like dot now hyphen link and id selector is a name starting with a hash character like id inside our js inside the js folder you can uh, put your js files for your theme JS code we are mainly used for UI customization. So this is the basic components of a Odo theme module. I hope you got the idea about the components of the module. <coughs>